Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the coffee bin for an update. I see some worms in the bubble wrap here, but they're mainly really itty bitty ones. But it's funny that they like the, the bubble wrap. So I wanted to see if the coffee that we have put in here is processed. And I see some of the, the cardboard that we added. And some of these castings feel a little bit sticky, but they still flake relatively easily. But I'm not immediately seeing coffee. These are our blue worms. That might even be a, a euro that made his way in here. But these are primarily blue worms. There's probably some red wigglers in here. Um, but they're, they're a worm that prefer a little bit of a, a warmer environment. So I figured a bin with coffee that could potentially heat up a little bit would be pretty, pretty good for them since they're already kind of a fan of the heat. And I think I did find some grounds down here and the worms as you can see down there they're all crawling all over the place and I actually feel it's very gritty down in this corner but this is where some of these grounds are and you can feel them between your fingers it feels much grittier than say um, the actual castings itself which are kind of soft and fluffy this is definitely has a, a an amount of grit to it and that's how you know it has not been processed yet. However, the worms are all throughout here and they seem really, really happy. Um, they don't seem to be avoiding the area. Any area really in here. I'm trying to get all the way over to the corners. I know my arm is blocking the way of the camera. But the consistency over here where some of these dried out coffee grounds were actually feels pretty darn good. That's how you know a blue worm. You see how fast he's moving and he's kind of pulling himself. That's kind of a telltale sign of a blue worm. But, I mean, there's there's no real coffee filters to speak of. Um, just little itty-bitty pieces here and there of that. But, I mean, the worms are just loaded throughout everything. If we look right down here where I was just pulling them up. I mean, they're all throughout everything here. See, that's Telltale Blue Worm. The red wigglers sometimes are a little bit slower, but the blue worms are very fast. But, I mean, little residual pieces of, of um, the filters is fine, not a problem, but you just don't want a ton of actual coffee because that's really a nitrogen, that's a food source. So you don't want to overfeed the bin. But there's worms of all sizes and very little coffee left over, despite the fact that we've been feeding it pretty aggressively with the coffee. They seem to be handling it without any issue. And now I've turned everything completely top to bottom. A lot, a lot of worm activity all throughout, but nothing really seems unprocessed. So I think we will be safe to feed this middle area here. So I'm going to dig out trench all the way to the bottom. Really encourage the worms to kind of stay in the middle and really process everything that we feed them. And I am going to put a good deal of bedding down because the moisture still feels good, but these coffee grounds have been sitting in a tin. They do have some water in there, so we want to make sure things don't get too, too damp in here. 
So just a few nice handfuls of this shredded cardboard should do nicely. And then I'm just going to take my coffee container here. It's pretty full. Probably got five days worth of coffee in it, something like that. Sludgy in the bottom. And I'm going to try to turn the little filters over here to keep the grounds themselves nice and moist so the worms can move in a little bit more easily. And I am going to throw in a little bit of my dry mix, just again, bug control, grit source, kind of a pH buffer, prevent any sort of pot worms, things like that from moving in and taking advantage of a bin that's a little bit more acidic than some other bins. And then I'm just going to cover all of this up with existing, existing bedding and castings that we have in here. I'll probably mound it up a little bit more in the, in the center because the worms will kind of flatten it out on their own and that will make sure that the grounds stay nice and damp so that they don't dry out and the worms can't get to them. So I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, nothing super exciting, but the worms are doing really well in here. I'm quite impressed. So we will leave them to it and come back next week and get another update in. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. I hope you have a great day.